In this lengthy video, we're going to look at how to actually capture an image and produce a profile. We'll start out with still images on this tab. When I click the open button, I can navigate and select a bitmap image. Here's a list of the types of files that we can read into RSpec, including bitmaps, JPEGs, FITS files, and TIFF files. And we'll look at raw image files in just a moment. So there's the image that we took at an angle. And the first step will be to rotate it around so it's horizontal. When I click on Rotate, I can adjust the image so that my star is to the left, as is traditional, and that it's horizontal. The second step is to click between the lines and drag the box into position so that we're actually capturing a profile over here. That's how easy it is. So this peak here corresponds to this star image here. The software is actually binning inside of this box here. We can adjust the size of the box by clicking outside of it, either on the bottom or the top, or in the middle we drag both lines, or shift click anywhere will drag the two lines together. Next, let's take a look for just a moment at this second option when we're opening files, and that's RAW. When you select that, you'll be able to select any file name. Use this option to load your vendor-specific RAW image format from your Canon or Nikon or other camera. Now let's look at playing back a video file. This would be an AVI file that you captured with another piece of software when you were out under the stars. This works pretty much the way we just saw the static image file with the bitmap works. We have our capture box, which once we've centered it on our image, we have a live profile frame by frame on the right. We have our track bar that allows us to do what's called scrub the video and search frame by frame. And as we saw, our capture box can be moved to follow the image. We can pause and continue the playback of any video file. And finally, the tab that you've all been waiting for, the Live Camera tab. Once again, we'll click on the Open button, that's here, and select the camera that we want to view live. So here's our live camera image. You could be out under the stars, and if you don't think it's live, there's my finger to prove it. And once again, the same commands work. We can rotate and we can use our capture box to frame in a specific area. We can pause the camera input, which can be helpful when you're doing work over here, and you don't need to have a stream of frames changing what you're doing. This configure box here allows you to set capture options that are specific to the camera, and this screen is provided by the camera vendor. So brightness, contrast, other sorts of things like that. This Configure Settings option also allows you to set vendor-specific items. So, for example, we could change the resolution of our video. You can also, while you're viewing a live camera, capture the results to a disk file. Now, before you do that, we need to configure where the file is going to go and the base file name. And note that at the current time, RSpec has no protection against running out of disk space. If you're capturing a lot of frames at a high resolution, you can fill up your disk pretty quickly, so be careful. Once you're recording, the software will show you that you're recording and the destination of the file. Any adjustments you make do not affect the recording. The recording is made straight from the camera. Now let's go back to the Image File tab and look at how you could capture images using your own custom software and still process it in RSpec. First, on the Tools Options screen, you specify a folder for RSpec to monitor. Then when the Auto Open New Files box is checked, RSpec will automatically load any new file that appears in that folder. Now, of course, those files get put there by your CCD control software. 
No matter what the program is, we're going to look at an example here using MaximDL. Your software will have similar functions. We'll bring up our camera control screen, and here we'll select Autosave. And then under Autosave, we're going to select Options and set the Save Image Path to be the same path that we've selected in our spec to monitor. So now any image that MaximDL puts in that folder, our spec will open automatically. Now how often those images get deposited there is also something that you get to select in your software. Here we've set it to one second, or it could be even manual, where every time you click the capture button, the image got saved. So that's how your CCD software is configured to feed our spec. This is an important enough capability that we're going to review it one more time. How to use RSpec's Auto Open feature. Of course, it starts with your telescope and camera and your camera software, which captures images to a specific folder on your computer. We want to read those images into RSpec automatically. The first step is to go into RSpec's Tools Options screen and indicate the folder that you want the program to monitor. Then once you've done that, put a check mark on the Auto Open New Files checkbox. Now we can see RSpec automatically loading each image as your camera software saves it to that monitored folder. How frequently RSpec can load a new file depends, of course, on how large they are, which is dependent on the resolution of your camera, as well as how much horsepower your computer has.